Uh, pit Sheik, wow. I'm a little bit surprised by Dawson's choice to go pit. Focus is asking Kakajin for some last minute advice. The one thing that you don't give Pit is patience. I... Yeah, okay. Okay, so they go to Smashville game one. This is a three-stage uh, striking list for game one. It's only Battlefield, FD, and Smashville, so that's why... Well, I mean, okay, let's be real. Every game always goes to Smashville, but even more so with this list, because it's like the person who doesn't want FD definitely doesn't want FD, and the person who does want FD probably doesn't want Battlefield, and then you always go to Smashville, because it's the best stage. Anyway, on to the match. Folk is actually doing a very good job of... Uh, only throwing out safe hits, not letting Big D get anything. Oh, that arrow kind of put him in a bad position. Getting back from the edge of the stage is like a bit taxing in Smash 4 because unlike in Brawl where you could just jump back down and grab the edge, you, do, you don't really have that luxury because, I mean, you lose your invincibility after the first time. So if you can just force someone off stage and they're not like Pikachu or Kirby and they can just like fly forever, then they're going to have to grab the edge, and they're going to have a bad time getting back on stage. Sheik, obviously, being Sheik, uh, has like a billion safe options, so it's a little bit better for her, but a lot of characters, once you're on the edge, you're just going to like probably eat a couple of solid hits before you can touch the stage again. Ness is a good example of that. Uh, there will indeed be VODs for this. I probably, I don't know, I can't really say for sure this isn't my stream. I'm just a guy who picked up a microphone. That's what I'll say in my interview one day when I'm, like, a famous rock star. And this guy picked up a microphone. But, looks like Big D has taken this match back in his favor. Uh, I want to say Vanish for focus right now probably won't kill. Even after the damage from a down throw. Big D, on the other hand, has a plethora of KO options. Ooh! Up smash, almost gonna, almost hitting, but not quite. I don't think it would have killed regardless, but it would have definitely brought him within kill percents for a vanish. Goes for the up air, doesn't actually get it, but Big D has to jump away. Big D unable to time the grab on that. It's it's really difficult to catch Sheik out of that. Uh, Foga is definitely making it pretty obvious what he's going for, and it is in fact vanish. Quite thirsty for the vanish. We've got a lot of safe aerials coming up from both players. Ooh, nice bouncing fish to punish the greedy up smash. Focus going for the classic roll to the edge and grab backwards, because if you do a stand and get up in Smash 4, it's so hard to punish. Grab is one of the only things that I know of that's like a pretty consistent option for that. Focus probably going to be hoping for a stack of needles off stage to a bouncing fish, or anything to a bouncing fish. She has a lot of ways to combo into bouncing fish. Dies to the forward throw. Something hype appears to be happening off stream, but as of now, we have a lovely crowd of me and Kakajin, and I guess the players themselves watching this match. Winners semifinals: Canada versus Canada. It is a it's a pretty good game so far, but Big D pulling a little bit in the lead because Focus doesn't have the rage to kill right now. I mean, obviously he would still kill with like a really strong hit like Up Smash, maybe Bouncing Fish off stage, but even like center stage Bouncing Fish probably won't kill at this percent. I could be wrong though. I never really remember the scaling on Bouncing Fish. Feel like he's looking for a Bouncing? Nope. Yeah, he's really looking for a Bouncing Fish. It's like his progression goes uh, at about 90% he starts kind of looking for the Vanish KOs. And then once he gets to like 120, then he starts fishing around for bouncing fish. And then after that, if they can still, if they're still alive, like way late, then he'll start fishing for back throw or not back throw, back air. And there we go, he gets the bouncing fish. 101%. This is not going to be easy, but I mean, if anyone can do it, Sheik can do it.
And JV2 stock. Game one goes to British Columbia's very own Big D. Now, I bet that Focus will want to go back to Smashville. Captain Falcon coming out. Yep, he went back to Smashville. Now, Big D's Captain Falcon, a lot more fast-paced than his pit. His pit was... Okay, Dawson says his pit goes in. I don't think his pit goes in. Uh, his Captain Falcon kind of unequivocally goes in, though. I mean, you see him already dashing back and forth, going for those dash-grab combos. One down throw is just, like, an insane amount of damage for Falcon. Hoo-ha, indeed. Oh, down throw. Up air, up air. Gonna try to pressure him off stage. Captain Falcon is just a really, really good character. Um, wait, how can I put this? When, when the Captain Falcon player is better than their opponent, it really, really shows, and it's super obvious. When the Captain Falcon player is worse than their opponent, they kind of feel like they can't do anything or get anything going. So, I don't know. I think that's, like... Makes him a bit of a risky pick for anyone, because when you pick Falcon, you're saying, hey, I think that I'm like a pretty good amount better than you. And we have the Wheel of Fortune. Or, yeah, I think it's called Wheel or Windmill. Basically, he does up air. Up air is really good, therefore, some people call it something funny to do with the wheel, because Falcon just like spins in the air. Burpader. Sheik using those jab one, two. I'm trying to go for a read off of that throw. Definitely not a bad decision, not actually taking any guaranteed punishes and going for something bigger, trying to bait out a reaction. Unfortunately, not getting it, because Big D, very patient player, not going to do anything that could put him in a bad situation. Oh, we got a down throw, we got an up air, we got another up air. Those do so much damage. Just, oh, Captain Falcon, and his dash grab is so good, too. Focus unable to get the kill with up air, but he does get it with Bouncing Fish all the way across to the other side of the stage. Bouncing Fish recovery. Fairly safe. Big D's Falcon could kill at this percent with uh, probably a number of moves. I think Side B will probably do it. Forward Air would definitely do it if he gets a sweet spot. Falcon Kick, I don't really know how hard it scales, but I know that it is strong. Especially if he gets up there and rage. Oh. Will up air kill? That's the question. I think that near the edge, up air would kill. Back air certainly does kill. And we're going to have a match no one has seen before. Big D versus Captain L in winner's finals. Who thought this would ever happen? Anyway, bye. I'm Captain.